Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year's 2022. We did it. Wow. Brand new year. So the video what we're going to be talking about today, uh, this video is way overdue. So uh, let's get into it. All right. Um, yeah. So this video is about the update of all the knowledge we know about my health and what's been going on. So first off, I came back to YouTube, uh, when did I come back to YouTube, 20, 2020 something, I don't know, I think summer of 2020, something like that. Anyways, so as you know, the that video is about me saying, yeah, I had bronchitis, I was super sick, uh, went through a massive breakup, car act and all that. But, uh, this is what actually happened. Well, all of that's true, but something we now know why I was sick. So, of course, you know, I was in Singapore and then Japan. Came back in February. And all of a sudden, I was super sick with a massive cough and everything. And you know what that was actually? It was COVID. Yeah. The it was a brand new uh, disease virus and that's why the doctors thought it was bronchitis not not COVID you know and um, yeah so I found out way later on like pretty much a whole year later of what really went ha like what was going on so I was super sick in bed you know couldn't eat couldn't sleep my breathing was just ridiculous sharp massive pains I had the, the steam bowl with the vape rub that you know you put here in your chest and whatever and we put that in there and just hot steam would just go into my nose and that was the only way I could breathe. That's what honestly saved me pretty much, seriously. Like I was just sitting there and just, I had to sit up. I couldn't lay down, I was like, <gasps> you know, wheezing and just the worst experience I've ever had. Oh my gosh, you know, just looking back, just like, wow, I can't believe I went through that 2020. And this is going through a massive breakup after four years of being together. And now this happens. Like, what? Whoa. I was in paradise. I was on vacation, having the greatest times. And all of a sudden, just damage, like, hit me. Like, what is this? Oh, my gosh. But anyways, yeah. So that lasted around three months. And then all of a sudden, I got into that car accident. So what, finally recover, able to go do something. And what happens? The car accident. Yeah, remember that? Oh, massive pains in the neck. Because of course, I took all the impact, <laughs> right? Finally recover and this happens. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Still trying to recover from the breakup. Oh, you know how it is. It's life, right? Everybody goes through breakups. So anyways, yeah, I went through that car accident. And then if you guys remember, uh, when was that? I don't, I don't remember when it was, but Buffalo Wild Wings got that food poisoning. Just, <laughs> and we actually filmed that. I was puking all over. Oh my gosh, passing. I was about to pass out and everything. It was another terrible experience I've had. So 2020 just was just absolutely not my year. Oh, it was just so weird like seriously just 2020 just wasn't supposed to happen for me like well, come on one thing after another ah, Wow So and Also, I had the, the cough the cough was still there that last the longest. Oh my gosh. I just couldn't get rid of that Jeez, ah, okay end of the year 2020 December Was it? 2020, 2021, 20, yeah, something like that. Okay, anyways, yeah, December, I got <laughs> sick again. And that was something totally different, okay? It felt like a cold, okay? A cold that had no smell. I could not smell. And of course, COVID, second time. Just can't get a break, seriously. Ah! And 
this one i mean it wasn't that bad but well, the bad part of it of it was mentally not physically but mentally gosh anxiety depression not knowing what is happening just so sad i never had this in my life you know i never was this sick and ever and then all of a sudden i'm just stressing and freaking out like what's happening to me what's happening to me i never had anxiety and depression in my life like people say that they have this i'm just like ah oh, what what is that i don't know what that is you know oh you go get over it but no now i now i know what that is okay now i truly know what it's like to have that oh my god just sitting there and all of a sudden you're just crying and just, just so sad depressed just wondering what is happening to me why do i deserve this oh, by the way uh, it's not over okay we're going into two years and it's i'm not normal i haven't been normal since 2019 okay and what are we in 2022 but we'll get to that so anyway, so we're going through all this depression, sadness, feeling sick, just a cold, okay, a cold, sick feeling. But months later, um, this is how I found out, okay, this is, both these times I didn't know I had COVID, okay? I just didn't know. Like, no one told me, I didn't get, uh, what was it, just like, didn't get that thing in my nose. <laughs> like. I mean, I mean, the first time I had it, it was like three months later, and of course it turned out negative because it's three months later. Yeah, it's gone. But I still felt sick. <laughs> That's why they said it was bronchitis. And the doctors did say, like, I was one of the first people in the U.S. to have COVID back in February. Can you believe that? One of the first people like that. Oh, my gosh. Really? That's what in history I'm known for is one of the first people to have it. Wow, come on, really? I don't want that. And it's just so bad just thinking of it. Like I just couldn't sleep at night. I had to take all this night night pills just to knock me out. I was just in so much pain, the excruciating, just crying and just depression. Why is this happening to me? What is going on? Just so scared. Oh my gosh, seriously, like. What has happened to me? This virus, this microscopic little thingy just goes inside of me, just wipes you out. Like people have died from this. It's just so sad. Like, oh my gosh. Millions of people have suffered. Oh, so depressing. Anyways, so I finally felt better in January, February, but mentally, no. Not until I got the vaccine, the Pfizer, two of them. That's when all the depression left. I know something about it just shot it into my arm and just all that, all of that just, it's gone. I don't know. No more sitting there all of a sudden watching someone just start crying. None of that. That was gone. That was all gone. I don't know. It was like an antidote for me for some reason. But yeah, so I still have the sinus infection, which I've had, was given by COVID. Sinuses, okay? Sinuses are located right under your eyes, above your eyebrows, just the pressure and just, oh, pain. And, the, and these, the, the tubes of the sinuses go into your ears and the back of your head, pressure. I, that's what I have left, the sinus infection pressure in the ears, the pressure the back of my head, feeling dizzy for some reason. I'm on my walks and I just feel this pressure in my eyes. Just like, what? Oh my gosh. Two years later and I still have problems. I'm not normal. Not normal. Come on. Two years. I've been taking vitamins and I'm going to show you right here. This is everything I've been taking. Look at it. Look at it. Ah, two years of this. Pills after pills. Oh my gosh. Vitamins, immune boosters, everything just to try to make me better. Oh. I've done everything. Gargle with salt water. Oh my gosh. Ah, got the third vaccine back in uh, end of November, which hopefully is another antidote to get rid of the sinus infection, whatever else COVID has left in me. <laughs> of course, I'm not, I'm not positive, but it's just what, the, what, what else? They're called long haulers, okay? 
There's people that have COVID and they got over it, okay? Just like a regular sickness. But there's also people that are known as long haulers that have these, these things of the, the, that they still can't breathe normally. The chest is still inflamed and the sinus thing and just, just makes you crazy as well. And it's just people are still suffering once they have still recovered. Like, recovered, I'm done with the sickness, fever, no fevers, I'm okay. But no, now you're dealing with more stuff. Oh my gosh, more pain and suffering. That's why this virus is just it's just mutating into more and more. It's just like this virus just not want to go away. They just want to wipe out the whole world, it seems like. Jeez. But anyways, so I got the third vaccine. Waiting for the antidote to kick in to get rid of this pressure in my ears. Which, you know, the thing is, I've been taking this loratadine, which is supposed to also help. And, I, you know, I have to say, 2022, I am getting better, okay? From last year to now, I was having COVID second time last year. Now this year, big difference, okay? Big difference. Thumbs it up, okay? We're out here still vlogging, tr still trying to provide the best of the best content for you guys. And we're just hoping for 2022 to provide more and better health for everyone and this channel to go up for you guys to enjoy. So thank you once again for everyone supporting this channel. We're on the road to 4K 2022. Let's do it. I hope anyone who's had the same similarities in COVID, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, so that is what I have to say. This, this video has been long overdue. I just didn't want to think about it, you know. The more I got better, the more I just want to take those memories and just throw it away. But you guys need to know about it. So there you go. COVID ruined my life, but we're on the road to better, better health. Okay. That's for sure. So let's get rid of the sinus pressure and yeah, there we go. That's all I have to say. Groovy vibes. We'll see you. Uh, bye bye bye. Okay. Good health everyone. Good health. See ya. Nate vlog out.